Hi, I'm Bruce Perlman, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Cardis. And I'm Pamela Ewell, Vice President and Associate General Counsel. Bruce and I frequently get requests about what's new on the tax and legal front, but some of the most important issues are not new at all. We recently hosted a webinar on U.S. domestic tax and legal issues and issued a Mobility Insights that discussed these issues, and we'd like to touch on some of the topics that we covered there. Absolutely, Pam. First, let's talk about one of the fundamentals, the one-year rule. The one-year rule is used to determine whether an employee's household goods shipment and final move expenses are considered taxable. In the webinar and in the insights, we discuss the nuances of the IRS rule to ensure that the tax deduction is allowed. Another fundamental is the 1 and 2D transaction issue. These transactions differ in terms of their advantages and legal requirements, and we discuss these differences and what they mean for relocation programs. And our final old but still relevant topic is traditional home sale programs versus direct reimbursement of expenses. Here we take a look at the benefits of each program outlining the potential tax implications of each one. Now let's move on to some new and emerging trends on the horizon. First up is the replacement of the standard home sale settlement statement. Beginning on August 1, 2015, the HUD-1 settlement statement will be replaced with a new form titled the Closing Disclosure. We let you know what to expect from the new form, including changes in language, in language, new rules and potential challenges, and the consumer benefits. Moving on to our next topic, solar panels are an increasingly common feature we are seeing in the homes that our transferees are selling. While solar panels are environmentally friendly and can help to significantly reduce utility charges, there can be challenges with them. We discuss key issues with these alternative energy sources, focusing on the problems that can arise from leasing rather than owning them. And finally, we discuss a couple of items that are becoming more relevant in relocation home sales. The re-emergence of bidding wars in select markets and the potential problems in selling a home with stone veneer. Bruce and I want to thank you for taking some time to hear about these trends, and we hope you'll take a few moments to view the webinar and tax and legal update.